Our worlds, our lives, our well-being are being profoundly affected by the loss of biodiversity and the effects of climate change. Mm, climate change, um, such a word with a broad range of definition, different people might define climate change differently. But it all affects us. So what should we do? What can we do is to come together and take the action. I am Rosie from Cambodia. I am at the Ramsa area at the Black Doal in Ban Bong province with the European Union delegations in Cambodia and the embassies of the EU member states such as Germany, France and Hungary as well as Cambodia Environment Minister Mr. Ian Sopalite for the EU's Global for Our Planet campaign to promote environmental sustainability. Together, we are visiting the Tunlesa Biosphere Reserve to have an intimate look into the biodiversity, conservation, fishery protection, as well as environmental sustainability. We're very happy to be here to put the spotlight on the greatest lake in Southeast Asia as part of the... Uh, yeah, that happens when you go out in nature. <laughs> and as part of the For Our Planet campaign to draw the attention of uh, public opinion, both in Cambodia and the rest of the world, on this very important biodiversity uh, hotspot. Uh, and also at some of the support that both the European Union and Germany have been given to this area to ensure that we continue to protect uh, biodiversity, the environment. And part of the exercise is uh, planting uh, uh, trees, which is a big campaign of the minister, which we fully support. Behind me is everyone who cares about planet. Today, a total of 3,000 trees are planted today. As you can see, um, they are enjoying the activity and uh, planting the tree right now. This is an opportunity for us to learn about the Tunlesa Biosphere Reserve, which is a global significant wetland ecosystem here in Cambodia. And many people in this area depend on the Tunlesa River to make a living. So it's important for us to learn this um, major by uh, ecosystem here and also to learn about the action that we can take in order to protect this area. I think there's uh, reasons to be optimistic that we can uh, turn things around. Uh, the minister has committed to plant uh, one million trees a year to uh, eradicate uh, plastic uh, waste uh, to protect biodiversity. So um, we as European Union, of course, fully share that uh, agenda. We share that commitment, that ambition. And that's, again, why we're here today, to put the spotlight on that important work that is going in a, uh, as the German ambassador said, in a very volatile, very vulnerable environment. Uh, just look at uh, Tonle Sap Lake. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on the biodiversity. Uh, it comes from uh, uh, different sources. Uh, climate change uh, is one, but the hydropower dams are another. Uh, so there is a need to protect that very, very precious uh, biodiversity space that we see here. Yes, but both of you are still op optimistic. Oh, we are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think, well, the start is extremely good. When I look at the campaign against plastic that the Ministry of Environment uh, is uh, pursuing right now, that's the right approach. Start with education, fight plastic wherever you can. And when you look at the numbers of participants, well, become plastic free, do not use plastic. Uh, well, the numbers are on the rise. And I think this is a really good concept. Uh, and that's uh, the way to go. There's certainly more, you ask me, is there enough that's being done? I think there would be more that could be done. Ban plastic, well, tax plastic. There is a couple of ideas that I would have that I'm more than happy to share with the government. Uh, but it's the right way. So I'm very optimistic. Small actions can lead to a bigger impact if we start to join hands right now.